You trying to break the rules of the game, Bala? I just shut myself off my Excuse me. Hand. What you doing? You trying to make me trip? You ain't welcome around here for real. Yo, you say I don't like what I see. Step off or suck. I don't know. This ain't your mom's house. I will shove you off this. You playing scammer? You fuck, fuck off, buddy. Move and get your face drilled. Essa foi braba. Isso, vem vindo. Vou testar. Não. this year oh god anybody else hearing this i hear you creeping <laughs> oh, man, my ears are this ain't how i want to spend my day i did you come side oh oh you fuck what the oh, oh. fuck is he coming shut up oh. of corrupt police have transformed the CTOS crime network into a dangerous weapon. Recently leaked footage exposed the abuse showing members of the Oakland Police Department using CTOS to flag themselves as undercover, enabling them to smuggle drugs and organize hits on members of their own community, all without any fear of reprisal. Councillor Miranda Kamei has asked for an independent task force to investigate.
Hey, nobody sees. Hey. Retro. What's the deal here? Dog fights go down in that building there. Used to be an indoor swimming place or something. They only admit members, though. Any way I can slip in? Pretty sure you can go through that restaurant. Good luck, man. Anything any of us can do to help? Thanks. We need a low profile here. I'll head in alone. Oye, oye, se nos metió un puto. Shit, that's gonna bring us. A...
Jamie Wetlow's bitch. I told you everything. Come on, please. Hey, let's go. He has this. You really can't bring him back in here, man. No, man. I'll bring him to Pablo. No, Pablo. No, no. Please don't. <sighs> All right. Motherfucker. That's us. We're happy to greet you. And I guarantee some really bloody dog fights tonight. Some of you heard there's a group of geeks that have been annoying the desk us. Pay no attention to that shit. As long as I'm around, the desk us are strong and will remain strong. Let's do this.
explodir mesmo. Marcus, you gotta get out of there. We're monitoring the Tescas. You're in trouble. The whole gang is converging on you. The place will be swarming with Tescas. I didn't get there quick enough, brother. Shit, man. Tesco's gonna come after any one of us, dude. Me, you, Josh, anybody. They went after Horatio. And he refused to give us up. I'll be along in a bit, man. My man, Marcus, you guys have been kicking ass up and down this city, man. Woo. I'm not one for mushy shit, but <laughs> I appreciate it, really. I'm hanging out on the coast. Come meet me when you're ready for the biggest job yet, baby.
I'm gonna go get set up. Marcus, do you want to handle a little escalating situation while I prepare the boom booms? What kind of situation? Big movement on the Bratva front. We've got a tail on them, but we need somebody with uh, problem solving skills to take over on the ground. On my way. Guys, they are waging war on us. This is getting out of control. We just had another abduction attempt on a dead sec man. And now, firebombed. I'm gonna hit the streets. Our servers are being DDoSed too. This is a major, coordinated attack. I'm trying to spoof the IP and route them towards the Great Firewall of China. Smart thinking. That's a firewall that fires back. I'm gonna see what I can do to help the kid. I'm not a kid. This is all our war. We need to make an impact. Hey, Wrench, I'll join you when I'm done. Harbor authorities chased yet another unlicensed craft back into international waters. So far, there are no details on where the craft originated from. Incidents of illegal vessels venturing into U.S. waters has been increasing. Speculation is that corporate spies are attempting to target the secrets of tech companies concentrated in Silicon Valley. Marcus, when you're free, we should talk. Is something wrong? I hate that question. Something is always wrong. It's a stupid question. Wrench, you need to air out your mask once in a while. Find some peace. Uh, no, that's the opposite of what I need to do. The mask keeps me calm, Marcus. Holy shit. Unbelievable. We can't find out who this guy is? Still, we stopped him. That counts for something. She's right, amigo. He only offed himself because you found him. Good work. For the record, I am not that freak's kindred spirit. You guys solved his cryptograms and shit. It's all right, man. Let it go.
tout le monde. I've been trying to improve my posture, you know. Okay, just need to find my way through. Followers of the hacker cell DeadSec have been growing over the past few months. Rumors are spreading that certain Silicon Valley insiders are bracing for another attack from hackers. This anonymous hacker group has been escalating their targets to expose various corporations and institutions for alleged illegal practices. And this has drawn the attention of many citizens who are now supporting DedSec's efforts, if not necessarily their methods.
Hi, <laughs> it's all ready to turn on pro. Foi essa? Captain Buttfuck decided to show up. And what, without the rest of Team Shit Show? Hmm, good luck. Oh, don't be like that. Hey, 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 Sweet Cheeks, will you get my friend here a drink? Just a water, man. Not nah, beer? Two beers? Oh, this is a prime player in my spank bag. He's got an ass like a woman. So fucking licious. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Pop, 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 pop. Pro tip, you intimidate them, you get faster service. <laughs> you know you could do the same thing with a smile and a compliment? Hey, man, that was really fast. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You fucking fake. At least I'm honest. You're a goddamn swindler. <laughs> You're a swindler, too. That's why you brought me here? Hmm? What if I told you there was a bunch of homeless people prowling the streets, their bodies infused with experimental nanotech? I mean, think about the kind of exposing and the uh, truthing you dead sec d bags could do with that kind of information. I mean, an army of robo hobos that don't make you wet. For real though? For real. It's called Project Rensense. How do you know about this? Because the first volunteers were from my crew. Oh, <laughs> your crew. First rule of asshole club is don't talk about asshole club. Ha 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 ha. Here's the thing about biohackers, right? We want to be pioneers, so we take big risks. To rent sense, we had a lot of really sick grinders and nothing cool to show for it, so we stopped volunteering. And I'm supposed to believe that rent sense just turned and started kidnapping homeless people? Sort of. You'd be amazed what a bum will do for access to a mobile clinic. Fuck off, you're just trolling me. It's nanotech. Transmitting a tracking signal, 910 megahertz. Go ahead, scan it with your UHF. I'll wait. Okay, so what? You're 
the little vial is transmitting. It's been real fun, Lenny, but I'm not crawling in the mud with you. Oh, you totally are. Don't call me again. You're an ambulance chaser. You can't resist this. Hey, Marcus. Welcome to our soul club. I think I gotta check out Lenny's info on the homeless deaths. It doesn't hurt to check it out. There's a lot of interest in nanotech in the Bay Area. Many people believe it's the next major step in human evolution and body modification. Plenty of biotech companies are experimenting with it. Sounds like you know a bunch about this kind of thing. I want wings. Can I get wings? Can you imagine me with wings? That would be so awesome. That's theoretically possible, however. Unlikely in the near term. All I'm hearing is a lot of blah, blah, blah. Yes, you can have wings, Wrench. Stop pestering Josh. Come on. Wouldn't you want wings? Wings! No. You know what kind of hell that would be managing clothing with wing holes in the back? No, what I'd want is nanotech tattoos. They can change their patterns. That would be cool. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. That's much more likely to happen. We may even have the technology for it already. Rock on. Matching dead sec nanotech tattoos. I'm at the homeless encampment now, guys. Time to start digging. Yeah, we did some digging of our own. Anything good? No, but a lot of bad. Higher than average deaths among the homeless population. A noticeable spike. Oh, that's definitely bad. Yeah, what do you want? Hey, uh, I just heard about those mobile clinics down here. I just wanted to learn more about them. Why? You look like you can afford a real doctor. Look, this is my hood, man. I just wanna know. Fine. What can you tell me about? Showed up about a month ago, offering checkups. Shot some things totally free. You just gotta sign some waiver saying they can keep your info. <sighs> that seems kinda weird. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, those guys that died, did any of them go to this clinic? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you should find Marty. He went to the clinic, you know, oh, he's looking real sick. Where can I find him? He's around here somewhere. Lay down yesterday or the day before. He hasn't got up since. Thanks, man. Looks like I better go find Marty. What have we here? A pamphlet all about free medical clinics. <laughs> Why, yes, I'd love to know all about that. <laughs> Isn't that funny? You think the law abiding citizen? Be honest, brothers. Hey, buddy, you doing okay? Well, I don't know about yeah, it. yeah, yeah, fine. Just uh, can't see straight right now. You want me to take you to the ER or something? No, doctor will just make it worse. I was fine before the doctor. Did you go to the free medical clinic? Are, are you saying you felt worse after you went? <coughs> oh, nurse said the shots make me well, feel sick yeah. for a few this days. This doesn't cost me anything. Yeah, I guess. Shit, oh, I'm not going back. I saw what it did to Marty and Joseph. Hey, Marty and Joseph? Joe's dead. Marty will be soon. It's been that way for the past five years. Do you know where I can find Marty? Well, he's lying on a couch nearby. Lay down yesterday. Hasn't moved since. Fucker. That particular hole. Really times. Hang in there, man. What? At least I can chat to you in the meantime. Ha! Eh. It is nice. A 
Holy shit, man. Hey, hey, you want some help? I'm all right. Doc says I'm good. I'm doing fine. This will see me again next week. <coughs> the doc at the mobile clinic? Yeah. You need something, kid? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm actually just trying to find out more about the clinic. What they're injecting people with. I don't know. Two shots. But when I, I saw one of the docs threw away the injector gun thingy, it's in a yellow can somewhere around here. Hey, that's useful information. Thanks, man. Sure. Sure. Injection gun. Looking for an injection gun in a yellow trash can. Feels like I'm in the cyberpunk sci-fi movie. Hey, Josh. I found an injection gun. The guy I talked to said this is what they've been using at the clinic. Excellent. Sending you data now. I'm using it to update the scanning app Lenny showed you. You should be able to use it to scan for more Probably nanotech. That would be useful. Yes. Mm. Looks like they do broadcast. You should be able to use your phone to track down where people with nanotech have been. As you get closer, the signal will get stronger. Looks like one of the clinic doctors is gonna be missing their bag. Anything useful in it? Comb, gum, clipper card, and official staff ID. Complete with barcode. This is gonna be useful, I bet. Hey, anybody in there? No. Kind of just gave yourself away, dude. I thought maybe saying no might give you the clue that I didn't want to talk. Fine, fine, look. I'm just trying to find the mobile clinic. Oh, no, don't do that! Shit, look, I, I, don't do that! <clears throat> Listen, you may be stupid, but no one deserves that. Don't go to the clinic. I just want to find out more about it. They trick people into free healthcare, inject us with tiny machines, and watch to see if we live or die. There? You know it all. That was uh, a lot of information. I know it sounds crazy. The police didn't believe me either. But the clinic staff, they heard me. <laughs> and, and now they're trying to kill me. That's, that's why you hiding out in the back, Kay. Oh! Oh! If anyone asks, you didn't see me. Right. Nanotech. Fuck. Lenny may be right. Nanotechnology could solve hundreds of medical problems. Diabetes, blindness, deafness, autism. Not to mention enhancements to our natural abilities. Yeah, all of that is pretty cool. But doing research on the homeless, without observing humane testing conditions... Yeah, would you do it? You try nanotech for... you know... Being non-neurotypical? Maybe. The experiment would be worthwhile, but... only if it were reversible. I like who I am. 
I might not like who I would be if I didn't have Asperger's. Yeah, that's a good point. How much of that shapes who you are? Josh. Yes? Our friend Marty, aside from being completely passed out and scanning positive for nanotech, looks like there's an injection wound on his wrist. And what do you want to bet they injected nanotech right into his bloodstream? I wouldn't be surprised. I guess I'm not surprised either. Get out! I think we're on the right track. Definitely nanotech research going on here and not the authorized kind. I would agree. We need to track down whoever's behind this and shut them down. Best bet for that is the mobile clinic. One of our scouts saw mobile clinics in the Prescott area. On it. Good to see you. Yeah, same. So, fill me in. What have you found? Honestly, looks like your standard run-of-the-mill medical clinic. They do have some computers set up, of course. Expect you'll find more info once you hack into their system. And the doctors carry around these data pads. Those probably have info, too. Seems likely. I'm gonna see what I can get off the doctor's data pad. Good call.
Got it. And it's winging its way to you. We'll get right on this. I have it. Decoding the encryption shouldn't take long. Got it. Ren Sense is keeping people prisoner. They have several of the missing homeless under observation in their facility. Guess that explains the disappearances. Found it. Time to put these guys out of business. And leave a little virus to remember us by. So long as they don't actually remember us, or identify us at all. Yeah, figure of speech, Josh. Right. One down. Looks like the police are trying to keep this whole thing pretty quiet. Yeah? News stations are being told it's some sort of minor illness among the homeless population. Regular citizens shouldn't be worried. Right. Who cares about the homeless? All the deaths do seem to occur within a three-mile radius of known mobile clinic locations. Oh, they'll ballpark. 